the Volkswagen emission scandal, from deceit to redemption. When made in Germany adorns a product, it brings forth images of reliability, precision, and superior quality. Volkswagen, the pride of German engineering, was one such revered brand. But what happens when such a brand takes a detour from the straight and narrow? In 2015, Volkswagen, known globally for their people's car, shattered this trust by pulling off a deception that would make any con artist blush. The Dieselgate scandal, as it became known, wasn't just an emissions issue. It was a stark violation of public trust and environmental standards. The diesel engine, once the unloved sibling in the automotive family, was experiencing a renaissance of sorts in the early 2000s. It was the golden child of fuel economy and power without the guilt of high carbon emissions. Or so the world thought. Enter Jane, a single mom who purchased a Volkswagen Passat TDI, not just for its sleek look and powerful engine, but for its clean diesel tack. Little did she know what lurked behind this green label. Volkswagen was a symbol of the post-war German miracle, a car for the masses. Their breakthrough with the Beetle positioned them as a global leader in the automobile industry. And then came their clever marketing, proclaiming the benefits of diesel, capturing the market in a way few could. By 2009, Volkswagen had passed Toyota as the world's largest car producer, a triumph fueled by strategies built around their diesel vehicles. In comparison, their rivals seemed to be watching the race from the rearview mirror. However, the diesel dream was about to go up in smoke. In 2014, a small research study by West Virginia University first raised the suspicion. Researchers were left scratching their heads when Volkswagen's Jetter, Passat, and the sporty BMW X5, all diesel models, showed emissions that were 5 to 35 times above the legal limit in real-world conditions, contrary to their previously pristine results in regulatory tests. This revelation was akin to unearthing a time bomb. How could Volkswagen's cars perform so cleanly in laboratory tests but pollute so heavily on the road? The answer lay in a devious piece of software engineering. Prompted by the shocking study, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency EPA launched an investigation, unraveling a scandal that would shake the foundations of the automotive world and rattle consumer trust. As Volkswagen's deceit unfolded, they found themselves standing on the edge of a precipice. In 2016, the US EPA pulled no punches, fining Volkswagen to the tune of $14.7 billion for violating the Clean Air Act. This was no mere slap on the wrist. It was the most substantial fine ever levied against an automaker. The centerpiece of this grand deceit was a cunning software known as the Defeat Device. This little trickster was capable of detecting when a vehicle was being tested and would switch to a cleaner mode of operation to cheat emissions tests. Outside of the lab, the same clean diesel cars were spewing nitrogen oxides at up to 40 times the legal limit. 11 million vehicles worldwide including models like the Beetle, Golf, and Audi A3, were installed with this deceptive device. The fallout from the scandal was swift and brutal. CEO Martin Wintercorn, once the captain of this mighty ship, had to step down. The once thriving stocks of Volkswagen plunged by 37% within days, and the iconic brand, hailed as a paragon of reliability and trust, 
was smeared with the black ink of deceit. The aftermath of the scandal was like a hurricane that left a trail of destruction. The total cost of settlements, fines, and remediations reached a staggering $30 billion, sending tremors through Volkswagen's financial backbone. Their sales, once a towering inferno, dwindled down to a flickering flame. With a precipitous drop of 20% in the U.S. alone within the first month of the scandal. The U.S. Justice Department, clearly not amused by Volkswagen shenanigans, brought the hammer down. Criminal charges were pressed. And in 2017, Oliver Schmidt, a top Volkswagen executive, was sentenced to seven years in prison and fined for $100,000 for his role in the scandal. But the most significant casualty of the saga was not monetary. It was the trust that was meticulously built over decades. It left customers like Jane and millions of others feeling betrayed and used. The people's car was no longer for the people. The societal impact was monumental and marked a dark chapter in Volkswagen's illustrious history. Redemption is never easy, and Volkswagen's journey was no exception. But they took a beating and came out swinging. Their game plan, pioneering the electric vehicle EV market. And let me tell you, they came to the party with a big bang. By 2022, they pledged to invest $86 billion in digital and electric technology over the next five years. The ghost of Dieselgate, however, continued to linger. The scandal left an indelible mark on the automotive industry and beyond. It was a stern reminder that corporations are accountable to the environment and the people they serve. Fast forward to 2023, Volkswagen is making strides in the EV market, becoming a tough competitor for the likes of Tesla. Their ID4 electric SUV was even named the World Car of the Year in 2021. The road to recovery is long and winding, but it seems Volkswagen is steadily navigating its way back. The road ahead is all electric, Will Volkswagen lead the charge or just keep up with the pack? Only time will tell.